Hey, what's going on, fellow currency lovers? Thanks for coming to another video. Hopefully you caught all the new currency news coming out on VarietyEras.com. But if you haven't, or you want to get a look at our free coin and banknote guides, hop over to VarietyEras.com or follow our link here in the video. Without further ado, let's get to a quirky and fun collectible in banknotes, and that is the mule note. So how is a mule note created? There's two plates that are used to print U.S. currency, one for the front and one for the back of the note. In the late 1920s, they transitioned from what's known as a micro plate, which had micro numbers, smaller numbers that were 0.6 of a millimeter in height for the series and the signatures. Now, these were transitioned to what's called a macro plate, which is still used on modern currency today and that is one millimeter high. This is both for a graphics change as well as for ease of reading what's on the note. Now generally speaking these plates get worn out as is anything else in a well-oiled machine that is the printing presses for US currency and you're supposed to change out both these plates or you can interchange them one at a time but with the same type of plate. A mule note is created when only one of these plates is switched so to sharp-eyed collectors, you can come across mules. Essentially, one plate has macro-sized printings on it. The other one has micro-sized printings on it. So the front or the back would have two different size numbers. Now, for example, here and throughout this video, you'll see it kind of scrolling through different bills and stuff like that. This is a $20 Hawaii note from 1934A series that was issued during World War II after the bombing of Pearl Harbor in 1941. This one sold for over $40,000 just a few months ago in January of 2020, setting a record for paper money mules in any heritage auction sale that has ever occurred. Now, if you look closely at this bill, it is the difference in the size of the print on the plate numbers that identify the bill. Now, these aren't the only notes that were special issue. The Africa notes that were issued during World War II have many mule notes that have been found in them as well. But let's keep in mind that mule notes in general are pretty hard to come by. They are living in scarcity as far as just popping up in bill searches, but it is possible. Also, it is not always the size of the plate number that determines that it's a mule. In some collections, there has been seen other types of mules where various prints on the bill, both front and back, are not matching in actual size. So as you're searching through your currency, you're going to want to see not only if you can find fancy serial numbers like you see in our bill search videos, print errors, things with ink, but of course, you want to see if everything matches up and the correct plates were used on these notes. Aside from the two mentioned wartime notes that were issued, mule numbers began when macro plate numbers began. You can find some mule notes in the 1928 $2 bill series. Now to summarize things up as far as finding them in your bills or in your bill searching adventures, the most valuable mules are going to be found in the 1928 and 1934 star notes. Those are the ones that are going to be worth thousands of dollars along with ones issued during wartime banknote issuing for Hawaii and Africa. Essentially, anytime they've updated the printing plates for U.S. banknotes, it opens the opportunity for a mule note to be created. Let me know what you think about mule notes in the comments below, if you've come across them, if you even look for them, or if you're one of the lucky folks that's been at an auction where one of these great numismatic finds has been sold for a ton of money, Definitely tell us the story about it in the comments below. But otherwise, good luck on your coin and bill searches, and I will see you in the next video.